everybody, it's me Liberty. And I'm Sneaky Dan. Today, we're gonna have a fun day. And I'm building this Baby Yoda. A Baby Yoda Lego set. Right now, we got Baby Yoda. I just started. I'm trying to find out what pieces. Yeah. We're gonna do, our hands are up. Whoa. Mm -hmm. My hands are up.
God's the king of me. We are back. A moment done with Baby Yoda. And now it's time for the story. I wonder what the story is about. Jesus is getting arrested. Oh no. <laughs> you know what we should watch? We should watch that Easter video. The funny one? Yeah. yeah. That one. Um, he died in the car because, um, well, because he loved us so much that he, he wanted us to be with him. Um, <laughs> I kind of agree with him because we could have lived a kind of. life with, um, <laughs> The Last Supper with his disciples Peter, Peter James, James, John, John. Doubting no, Thomas, no, no. Doubting Thomas. Thomas. Judas. Judas. Okay. Yeah, Judas is a bad. Is it like a bad person? Maybe someone's called Newt. Um, Jesus, Jesus said. He said, "Here's bread. Eat oh. it. This represents my body." And then he told them to break it into pieces and give it, pass it on. And this wine, and this, this wine represents, represents my, my blood. blood. The devil got Judas. Then he reported him to the soldiers and told them where he'd be. They gave him three hundred bucks. Wow, that's a lot of bucks. After the, the supper, they went to the garden to pray, to pray, and right. pick out carrots. The disciples, um, <laughs> they kept falling asleep. <laughs> And they, he was trying to pray, and then he just heard snoring in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, ah! Wake up! <laughs> and then uh, Julius came to come get some guards. He's like, came to Jesus and started kissing him. And then Jesus said, he was like, are you betraying me by a kiss? And then he was. Guards came to take him away to j prison um, when he was in the garden with his disciples. So Jesus was taken, and then after that, they started making him carry the cross, whipping him and hurting him. They um, they made fun of him, like tortured him. They gave him a crown of thorns. They pushed it on Jesus's head down and made him his head bleed, and it hurt it. They made they him carry a cross, and, and then they got Jesus and put him on a cross, and then he died on the cross. Then they put him in like a cave and pushed up the rock so that no one could... You in the tomb? Yeah, it's yeah. called a tomb. They put a barrier in front of the cave. Like a big rock. Big, big boulder. And there was... And, and they, they put guards. guards there so that nobody steals God's body. On the third night, Mary, she, she came to the tomb to check. Mary. Well, actually, and the other Mary person, he, what, and the other Marys, and then the, she saw an angel, and the angel has said, "Don't you remember that G, that Jesus said that he would he he would rise on the third day?" So he wasn't there anymore. The tomb was in, empty. He rose from the dead. He said, "Go oh, yeah, to the disciples, said, tell no, them that I am alive, no, and no, then no, blah blah blah." No. Some of the disciples didn't believe that um, he was actually alive. Yeah. I don't and then Jesus appeared through the wall. I think they were surprised. He pooped. Oh then when they saw him, they all believed, and then everybody in the town knows he's alive. How dare! A few days after he was with the dead. He told them <laughs> to give everybody the juice of the crackers. What is it? Crackers? Did you just say crackers? Yeah. <laughs> he, he says, I will make um, a, um, a spot for heaven in you and um, that's what he did. He said for you to share um, what I've done for you and he went to heaven. <laughs> he went to heaven. He went to heaven. The Bible tells us that, that he's going to come back. He's actually coming back someday. Hey there, I'm Pastor Brian, and it's time for questions from kids. Austin from Leadville, Colorado asks, I heard 
that Jesus was over 30 years old when he was crucified. Did Jesus really never do anything wrong for his whole life? Yeah, Austin, that is true. Uh, Jesus was about 30 years old when, when he was crucified and raised from the dead. And we know from scripture, it's really clear that he did nothing wrong. There are several passages that are just crystal clear about this. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5.21, one of my favorite passages is one. It says that Jesus, he who knew no sin, became sin on our part. So Jesus was sinless. We know that we needed a sinless sacrifice sacrifice. Uh, had Jesus sinned, his sacrifice for us would not have been worth anything. So he lived his entire life without sinning. Now, let that be an encouragement to us. That reminds us that when we trust in Christ, we have been given the power to say no to sin. We don't have to sin. We, we can turn from it through the Holy Spirit's guidance and help. Uh, we don't have to give in to our selfishness and sinfulness. But at the same time, we recognize that, that we will make mistakes. We will continue to sin even when we don't want to. Um, to be honest, there are times we do want to sin. We like to sin. And so we always have this hope as well when we look at the bigger story, that when Jesus returns, he's gonna put an end to sin once and for all. And there will be a day when we are completely sinless in eternity. And that's encouraging to me. Uh, that's great hope to me. I can't wait for that day when sin is no more. So for now, now we find encouragement, but also we're reminded of our need to live in a way that pleases God because of what he's done for us. So here's a question back for you. What should we do when we do something wrong? If you 
them. I think they're finished. Ooh, can I play with them? No. Mm. Speaking of finishing something, Jesus says it is finished in the story.